shadow showing on me? No. I don't believe you. Do you have a mirror? Yeah. Are there I shadows have. showing on me? I cannot talk to 17-year-old people. It's really not in my country. Just make me look young. Just do something. Well, hey, that's not what you're doing. have to go higher. Not my hair. Please have to go higher. Big bright lights, bright lights. Hello. Hello. Is this where they're performing? Hi! Hi how are you? Hi. I'll just be in plie position. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, the lighting's much better here. It was very cool out there. Do you know what? Hi. Hi. It was a pleasure Hi. to meet you. Nice to Hello. meet you, too. Hi, you I look completely different. Of yours. You are not. You're just saying this. No, I am. Really? You know, you look much younger in real life. I just want to tell you. Well, actually, I've got a confession to make. I am 54. <laughs> I'm 75. Indeed. And I'm 10. No, nobody knows how old I am, too. But that's the beauty of television, That's you the see. beauty of TV. You'll never get it. Lighting, there's makeup. Some, there's some telltale things, which you're starting to wear a scarf. Oh, like you see, I've just had my neck done. No, you'd be up here, babe. When you have your yeah. neck done, the scars are back here. Yeah, zig zig <laughs> No, no, you didn't. I, I want to know what that means. I just want to know. Does it mean what I think it means? I think it does. Yeah. I think so. I think it's a childhood pseudonym for <laughs> Let's just get that out. That's good. Don't you think and so? And it doesn't make you go blind. No. I think you liberated a lot of very small pubescence. There you go. Because my, my three-year-old still says this around the house, and I go, later. You know, I just want to postpone her childhood a little bit. The funny thing is, I think the brilliant thing about music, everyone interprets it at different levels. For example, Madonna, like a virgin. For me, it was like a gherkin. <laughs> there you go. And just, if we could exactly, go through that. Exactly, purely innocent, do you know what I mean? Oh, I see what you mean. So it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be Like sexual. a gherkin. Did you ever meet her to tell her that piece of information? I did. I have met her, but I didn't tell her. She'd love that. She'd be charmed. She probably would. And it would have changed her whole act. She, she would, would have gone. <laughs> dressing up as a pickle. She would. Okay. Has there been the first kind of siege? Well, you know, there's I mean, been were a you few. angry when they suddenly put your picture up, you know, from when you were posing nudie? Did you know, I was only 18 at the time, yeah. so. So you weren't thinking about lighting? I wasn't. They were not great shots. I mean, some, when we think that Joan Collins posed in Playboy at age 54, there's a miracle of lighting. There you go. So learn, I've got room learn, to grow. Learn. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hi. Sorry, we're talking right Hello. now. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm going to leave you there. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hi. Hello. Should we go eat somewhere? I heard you're having beans and uh, we could have We could have beans on toast. What's the stupidest question? Well, what's the stupidest question? Um, um, probably what sort of biscuit you'd be. No. You want to know the lowest for me? Somebody Go once on. asked me, said, what is my worst fear? And I said, death. And she said, any particular reason. <laughs> Do you rehearse every night? Yes. <gasps> every morning, every day, every night. Are you in good shape? Look at this. The shape. I'm should not, be I firm don't, from... But you're not. I'm not, <laughs> don't I'm not actually. I'm not. There's my mom. Can I meet your mom? <laughs> Can I talk to the mother? Can't come here, so no. Can you come out here? I just need some advice. This is Emma's mother. Thank you, Mom. You can only be quick with her because she gets nervous. Oh, okay, right? right? She won't get nervous. Oh. I just want to know. Look, first of all, you look alike, so <laughs> that's nice. She said she was going to be famous. Yeah. Like a million other yeah. girlies. Yeah. And then was there a minute where you went, she, she really is famous? Was there one minute? The Brits. Right. At the Brits. First time to the Brits, I was just like, oh. And what did you think? Is it like winning the lottery? Um, it's kind of the same, you know, when you see your daughter in the school play, the nativity, and they're... Kind like of. The, well, you know... So now they're making it's millions. Just, uh, no, it's, no, it's, it's lovely. It's see, like but it, it doesn't feel like that. No. No, no it's just like you're so proud and you're sitting there like, you know... I'm going to let her go now because she's... Yeah. She's, gonna be no, she's cooking. Oh, she's okay. cooking. How much did she give that mother? Very lucky mother. If my child, Marina, I know you're only three, could give me what that child gave her, I would be... I'd be happy anyway, even if you end up a plumber. Really, I would. Sorry. Molly, Diggy, Melody, It would be good to do um, a real close, real close. Yeah, well, you just do high angle ones. Hi, and then we just might get a double chins. 
Well, this all, it's already high angle. You know, you got control it anyway. If you got a double chin, you just take it out. <laughs> yeah, like I can edit my chin. Like I no, go to the other cut, room and go cut my chin. Cut the, cut the, the things Yeah, itself. if you could not get my chin, but get a lot of hers, that would be really good. Your mom was a Jehovah's Witness. She was. Which I think is, now, isn't bizarre. that, that's bizarre. Oh, bizarre. I'd have the most bizarre life. Well, what's, tell, just go through it with me. I mean, I sort of know they knock on your no, door. No, originally my mother was Spanish. And, she and then she became a Jehovah's Witness. And then kind of, she, you know, she was having a rough time with my dad. And so she, to escape, she kind of went to be a Jehovah's Witness. She used to drag me from door to door, knocking on. No. <laughs> yes, and I was like, six but you know everyone goes through those things. and did she say come pray with me you know where they make you get on their hands we used to have to go to the kingdom hall and sit there for hours wow. but, you know, but then you know she you know stopped going and Wait, were you a, like as a kid do you think it's sort of like trick-or-treating yeah <laughs> affected me um i don't know I, I just remember sitting there you know getting rather impatient and being bored and did she make you get on your knees and we pray to, at home well we used to do all the sort of reading all the bible and stuff things like that the only thing I would say bad about being Jehovah's Witness, which I, I was only for a couple of years, and I was at school and everybody else had birthdays and Christmas, and I used to go back to school after Christmas and I'd be really embarrassed, because everyone else would go, what do you get for Christmas? And I'd go, um... Oh, you mean nothing. they don't have it? No, and there was, I never had a birthday, but I've never had a birthday party. When I was a little girl, my dad wanted me to be, you know, took me to an acting thing, and my mum said, no, she's not doing that, she can't do anything until she's 16. I'm not having her turn into a Judy Garland, <laughs> you know, she's ending up like that. So in a way, it was reverse psychology, and you know, it made me want it to even more, so as soon as I was 16, I was out the door. What did you do at 16? Now, you became a cleaning woman. I, I went to college, yeah. I studied business and finance. So do we know that? That's never in the things. Yeah. That's never. See, they is that like they, a gan Do they tell you when you're a Spice Girl, don't mention that you actually had an education? Oh, <laughs> no. It's just, I always mention I've had an education, but it's, you know, something that, you know, at the end of the day, media, tabloids, they want to you know, project you how they want to Because you wanted you. to be a businesswoman? Well, you know, at the end of the day, when you're 16 years old, you're still, you still find, you find your ground, aren't yeah. you? So I thought it would be a good foundation. And then I did um, English literature. I'm um, sorry, Charles. What was your favourite in English literature? Oh, I loved Sons and Lovers and Hamlet. I loved it. I loved the same that. author. <laughs> not, not the same. And, and also, I like um, George Orwell. I was quite, you know, I really got into reading. Is it finished yet? No! Out! out. You uh, finished? We're bonding! It's a bonding thing. It's, it's a ginger. Thing. Get in the queue. Get in the okay. queue. And what was I going to say now? And how did you scheme it out? Did you think that whole girl power thing, did you read it in a magazine? Where did you no, get the no. idea? No, well, I just remember again. in the no early 90s, it was so recessive. It was so depressive, you know. After the 80s, it was all like greed. I think, you know, people needed that kind of positivity, if you want to say it like that. Yeah. I think, you know, people need that. They need escapism. They need hope. Do you know, it's almost like the American dream. I love the American dream. Here's the bad news about the American dream. Because, because once you get a little bit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is where I, um, they don't know where to, like, pull the brakes. And you're taking as much as you can, which I don't blame you. I'm telling you I'm an American from my heart. Yeah. Take what you can because you never know. You know, we don't uh, know where course. the Ronettes are today. Yeah, yeah, of course. Or the Shangri-Las, God Your rest them. Or the two girls that backed up, um, what's her name, Diana Ross. Supremes. But I can verify this right now, put my hand on my heart and say, money is great, but it's not everything. It doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. You can't do it just for the money. I heard you got a cigarette lighter for like a thousand pounds and you feel really bad about it. I can believe this. Yes, I do. I get guilt attacks. Can you? I think I'm the, no, I'm not the, I'm the carefulest out of the five. Right. Do you know what I mean? I have these big guilt attacks when you think, you know, I know there's bloody, you know, homeless people. I've been homeless myself, you know, so... I, you know, there is such extravagance and waste. And the, I, the painful thing out of it is we get things free now. And I think when I was poor and I needed it... Yeah, where I was Estee Lauder? And now where I were the shampoo it? examples yeah. when I was poor in the street? Nothing no, it's true. It. Yeah. Is there anything you want? I mean, do you keep yourself back from getting... I mean, because you could have a home, a boat, uh, you know, whatever. Is there anything you want? I like a um, castle. Okay. It's a humble thing. With a butter. Yeah. Okay. That'd be nice. The maid. Spoken like a true ex homeless girl. There you go. <laughs> okay. Prince, I think I'm living a fantasy. You're not dream. living a fantasy. You can have it. Oh, okay. shut up! Oh, Get Victoria! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm go are you, you going to eat while you're talking to me? No, I'm Spit not. Spit that out. Spit out the chocolate. Here, go on.
little bit. Oh, look what a delicate little flower. What was it? <laughs> what was it? I it was a great one of chocolate. It was a great. All oh, right. I was bullied a lot at school. You bullied in what way? Yeah. Like tortured? Oh. Yeah. I mean, not like physically beaten up or anything, but I think children are really, really mean. Really mean. mean? Yeah. Especially really if you mean. don't have a defence. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I mean, I suppose at school to actually, I mean, I did work hard at school. I mean, at night time I was going to do my dancing classes, and that's just not the cool thing to do, I suppose, when you're a kid. So you I never ended up prom queen at the end? You know, like, no, 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 no. It should end happy like that. Yeah. But I think it did, even yeah. without being prom queen. Yeah. Did they think you were oh, snooty? Oh, people still do think I'm snooty. Can't think why. I can't think. Are you snooty or just have a? <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I think a lot of the time it's because you know I don't smile a lot, you know, in pictures, that kind of thing. Yeah. People automatically think that I am. Yeah, they project a lot on yeah. you. Yeah. But you have a very sultry kind of look there. I mean, do you, did you practice in front of the mirror when you were a little girl? No. Honestly. Honestly. Can I just see this ring? Is it? And this is what from what's the name? I don't know. Do you know what about football? Nothing. No. Do you know which way the I ball's know supposed who we to were. go? No, the first time I went to see him, actually, I was watching the wrong team because I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> and it was like they were wearing a completely different colour kit. I know nothing about it at all. And then who, did you go backstage, like rupees? Yeah, I did. No. I, no, no, I did I did go backstage. And when I met him, it's like, what do you say? Do you know what I mean? Good game or Yeah, or like, no, I like the shorts. Nice bit, yeah, nice shorts. Could be a bit shorter type thing. Yeah. Did somebody fix you up, or did he just come over to you? I went over to him. Because he was the prettiest? Because you don't yeah. know what he plays. No, exactly. I no. don't know what he was. You just, they're like lobsters yeah, in a exactly. tank. And he goes, that one is the... <laughs> and then did he ask you out then? Yeah, he did. Well, I said to him, so are you going to come down and sort of, you know, take me out type thing? You and said that? Yeah. So you said, are you going to ask me out? Yeah. And he, and didn't... he came down to London, and he took me out. Where'd you go? We went somewhere really, really... Great. Like, I mean, we had to be really careful at first because obviously, I mean, we didn't want anybody to know. Yeah. Sort of when it, once everybody found out, it'd be, you know, made and it really could ruin public. It. it could ruin it. Yeah, too. plus you might go out with him once, it'll get in the papers, and you think, oh, God, I don't even like him, and then you've totally public. What made you like him? Really yeah. He's just really, really nice. He's very shy, and I like that because yeah. other boyfriends I've had have been, you know, really full of themselves, and, and you know, I just like the fact he's very shy, and he's not, I mean, he's outgoing, but he's not big headed or anything. And, and what are the topics that you talk about? What do we talk about? Another we talk about really life. normal things like our dogs. Because we've just got dogs and we talk about, have you done the gardening this year? Oh, you know? listen to your that little couple of, of burb kid we together. Are. And what's going to happen when you get married? Um, nothing will really change. I mean, that, you know, he really understands that I want a career. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He would never expect me to kind of, you know, stop doing everything and just stay in. Can I tell you something? He yeah. says that now. He says that now. He, he wouldn't even now. dream of it. Mm. I wear the trousers. Okay. <laughs> I've heard this before and then we've seen the miniseries. How do you think this is going to end? Like, not your career, I just mean, you think you'll just get married and then you'll be have babies and... No, I mean, I do want to, obviously I'm going to get married and I want to have children. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm still going to have a career, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, as? Yeah. As, oh, I don't know, I just want to be one of those people that just swan about. Yeah, You know, swan that's about a and really famous. Oliver Reed does that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever pay the tax on the ring you got him? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. Did you sneak it through? Do you know, I mean, the truth was, is that I didn't know you weren't meant to do it. I made no lie. I really talk a lot about it, but I didn't know that you weren't meant to do that. That's why I told all the papers. Do you know what I mean? Made no lie. Isn't there something on the thing you're supposed to fill out saying how much you're carrying back or you didn't read the small print? Oh, I didn't read it. Oh, I know. Did you have it in your underwear or in your hand? In your bra. So you knew no, somewhere. I didn't really. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see that form. I mean, we have a PA that does that kind of thing. We're just think? talking about smuggling. <laughs> smuggling what? We're just talking about smuggling. Whatever you're smuggling, where you carry it, you know. Crevices, crevices. All right, come on, let's do it. Let's stage it later. Let's do it and get on with it. I'm doing it in these. Lower shoes on. Who's more level, please? Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 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 oh. What's the freakiest oh, thing then about being famous? The freakiest. I think you, you have. I've had this person outside my door. Like he he turned. Like I I arrive home and then within half an hour he parks his car outside. And then when I leave, he goes. It's mad. Wow. And I've never actually met him. Yeah, but have you told the police? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bit weird because you think it's only me. You know, you got you kind of forget that you are on TV and that you are doing this thing. What you're doing because and that it's... people put all this stuff on and then yeah. you just see this kind of piece of meat. You and know it's what weird. I mean? It's very think... strange. Yeah. 
And, and when there's a big wave of like you walk out of your house and it's not just like the bus down to the chip shop anymore and it's the biggest stretch mother you've ever seen in your life. Do you sort of go, well, I do I like deserve them. this? What do you mean stretch limousine? Yeah. The, I don't like Yeah, them. but that's what you're going to get. I mean. Yeah, but no, we, we have a choice because we manage ourselves now. So we have a choice what we go in and what we don't. So what are you going in? What are you traveling? Well, we, we are traveling. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have a limo limo. Have you seen it? No, it's a teeny little thing. It's a teeny little thing. But it's not limo. a limo. They took the stretch out of it and just smushed. Here's the driver and here's them. It's still a limo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you do that mind. really sexy stuff, you know, when you're kind of, you know, doing real, sexy stuff? really sexy dancing. I just, I just watched you groove with it for about an hour and a half up there. Yeah, but you groove sexy. with it. You don't go like, yeah. Well, yeah, but it's sexy. Please come out of the closet. It's sexy. You see, but I don't think it is, because that's how I dance. Yeah. I don't think, oh, my dance is sexy. I just think this is how I dance, kind but of thing. Here's my question. Go on. Whether it's sexy or not. Okay. That three-year-olds think it's so groovy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Isn't that the weirdest thing? I think it was weird when they go around saying, if you want to be my lover, and you're a three-year-old thinking that. That's what I think. My daughter doesn't dad. know the lyrics, so she says, if you want to be my liver. <laughs> <laughs> and she still thinks it's sexy. Oh, I laugh funny. That is funny. You never get depressed? You never get... Um, I do, actually. I, I, yeah, I do. About? Just about things. You know when you think, God, why is why are things like this? Why are people like this? Why is this situation like this? When Give you know it could be fun, you know. And I think I think fame. You know, some people you think, well, why do people? You know, they don't treat you like a human being. Sometimes they just see, see you as like a product, right? And that can be very kind of disturbing because you think I'm a person here. When you get in the public eye, a lot of people can't accept you, say, going down the shop, or they can't accept seeing you in real life. It's like, ah, oh, oh my God, and they kind of, you know, it's like when my dad saw somebody at Coronation Street, he called her by her name on TV rather than her real name, because he thought, and he goes, yes, yeah, so how's she getting on then? They kind of forget that you are actually a normal person yeah, as yeah. well with it. Yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> How do you meet a guy, though? Do. That's the thing, is that they are going to see you, and they're going to go, they're going to well, they're I gonna have gonna got a boyfriend. And, and he's not freaked out by you? No, I met him, like, when I was about 15, 16. Oh, that's we got good. back together again. So that at least he knows where you came from or what you Yeah, he, still, he, he actually thinks I've calmed down. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he thinks I've really calmed down, believe it I or not. I think there's too many hormones in you. I think some of the no, hormones... No, but you know, what do you mean by hormones? You mean that's what? why you're so bubbly? Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with being bubbly. Nothing. I'd rather be kind of Listen, like I, when that I get menopause, I'm going to strap you on like a patch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not always this positive. You just, you can't What's she like on a bad day? Bad. Is she bad? Is it Growler. moody? Is it moody? No, I get moody. I'm, I'm, I'm period. So yeah, I am very She's having good. a period and she's still... Oh, you see, I whisper things and she goes, <laughs> and she's having a period, you know. Thanks. It's a miracle. <laughs> she's still having a period and she's out here and she's perky. It's a miracle. <laughs> when I get my period, they've got a dog. Come on now. All right. She's Watch talking. it. She's a she's monster, talking. man. She used to be a chancer. Side of you then? Aries. Same oh, born the same so day as Hitler. Yeah. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, don't take it out on me. It just happened our mothers pushed at the same time. Different years. I was going to say. Different yeah, years. Right. Thank you. We're not going in there. Oh, in here. Look at this and the, the, and the artwork. Yeah. Was it yeah. worth leaving Have the other room for this room? Ruby. It's lovely. Have you noticed, look, it's like screwed to the wall, because you know I'm from Liverpool. So then I'm you would steal that. Leads. Because that's a piece of fine art here, isn't it? I could sell it down the pub, couldn't I? <laughs> Do you stay in, like, holes like this a lot? Because this is a hole. Um, this is actually, isn't it? Um, my flat's quite... Um, is your flat like this? this? No, not at all. <laughs> What's not. the worst habit the other girls have? <laughs> <laughs> right, the worst habit, I think, is Emma's got this thing, like, if she picks... You know when you get little eyebrow teeth? Yeah. Yeah. And she like she plays with them. No, like, she plays with them. Yeah. And then it's it's, I don't I don't want to know. Ugly. We all pick our nose, but everyone picks the nose. Everyone pretends it out, but you do. Everyone picks the nose. You don't have big fights. I mean, everybody gets out. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have done in the past, but it's usually because we've had too many. You know. Is it full screaming or is it just a one catty remark? Well, it's like um, I mean, we're not like catty catty. Do you know what I mean? It's usually just stupid, and then afterwards we can't remember what it was about. But me and my boo have had a couple of scraps, like when we've been a bit drunk, because we're both northern. As you see, we've got that thing, you know, the pride. So. Yeah. You know. I know a couple of drinks. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. 
what yeah, like you remember just, what the argument was? Up, do you know what? I can't. There was a couple of times when it nearly come to blows, but the only person who gets hit is Jerry, because she's always in the middle trying to sort it out. Rich, she's standing in the middle. Yeah. You can't remember what it was about? No. Would you think Mel might time remember? Ago now. She might. No, she won't, because she was more drunk than me. And you went to the Doreen Bird School of yeah. Theatre? Yeah. And what do we learn at the Doreen Bird? I like the idea, because um, it's a comedy name. The Doreen, <laughs> the Doreen Bird School of Entertainment. You if went she's to. watching, hello, Miss Bird. And um, she's a lovely mm. Miss Bird. Oh. She's Did a you lovely have to call lady. her Miss Bird? Yes. Oh, was that the highlight of your life? Seriously, those little things back then. Yeah, it was then. Yeah. It was, I couldn't believe my luck because I'm, I'm not really a very, well, I am. Now I consider myself one of the luckiest people in the world. In you know? the world. But as a kid, I was never really very lucky. I've never won none. Although I did win a tenner on the lottery once. Oh. I was made up of, it was like I'd won the jackpot. What was not lucky when you were little? Um, I just always felt like I was just always the one in the corner. Like no one took any notice. Oh of. no, really? Well, that's what you I were felt. like the plain I girl. It's true. Yeah. I mean, do your parents still live in the same house in Liverpool? They don't actually. They moved recently. All oh, right, but, but when... it's not a big flash house. It's only a bad it. But do you said that there they had a, like a kind of window so people could look in, and when you go home, there would be people who would look in and see you. Oh yeah, but you have done your research. Oh, you? <laughs> research is good on this show. Very good on this show. Um, yeah, that is quite funny. Actually, this is the new house. Yeah. It's quite funny because I've been, I've been sat there eating my toast in the morning and like the kids are like that. What do you feel when you're the object of everybody's envy? I don't know, it's weird. You, you don't. Right, I, I really like watching Spice Girls on the telly, like. But <laughs> you're a fan. I'm a fan of the Spice Girls. But like, I watch myself and I go, oh yeah. But it doesn't look to clock that it's me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I bet. It's like It's like me mate. I'm watching me mate. And I'm like, oh, come on, mate. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. And even now I look in the mirror and it starts, doesn't feel like it's me. <laughs> but then guys is tricky, isn't it? Um, well, guys have always been tricky for me. You want some more research? I'm not lucky in Ryan Wilson, you lost your virginity with at 16. We've <laughs> got him here. He's in the back room over there. No, you haven't. I still speak too much, like. Do you? Mm. Is, is he, like, pleased so that embarrassing. He, Is he pleased that it was you? Because <laughs> he obviously was know. a virgin, too. I suppose, I suppose it's quite good, isn't it? Like, one of the lads going, you scored. Yay! You scored. Are you kidding? He's going to have great pulling power uh, now, isn't he? He's got a girlfriend, actually. Yeah, but he probably got her because he said, guess who, you know, gets the last food. I don't think no so. No offense. I don't think so. But, I mean, because you're quite shy, so it must yeah. be difficult to meet, um, you know, like, well, you have a boyfriend now, but you have no, to I both... Have that boyfriend. I thought you were going out with the guy from Liverpool. <laughs> no. What I happened? Don't have, I, I haven't got a boyfriend. Oh, God. I haven't had a boyfriend for years, really. Is that because they're too embarrassed to go up to you or you're too embarrassed to go up to them? I could fix you up with something. Could you? Yeah. Is that what... I mean, is it just you can see guys, but they, can't, they don't have the nerve? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm just not lucky in love, I suppose. Now. For now. She, she's baby's getting baby's getting antsy. Baby's a bitch. <laughs> well, it is. It's a cover. It is. It's a cover. I'm telling you. I know. I, I can see it. I'm going to ask her if she ever saw whatever happened to baby Jane. You know what happened there? <laughs> I don't actually. At the end of whatever happened to baby Jane, because she was a child star, she became vicious. Oh, really? And she threw Joan Crawford into the ocean and ran over her bird. It was a mess. Now featuring Ruby Wax is now going to do her big performance. Go power at its finest. Here we go. Hello, testing. If you could lift the song, I'd really appreciate it. I'd like to devote this to my career <laughs> and the end of it. Good girl, Ruby. You can do what you want. Oh, Motown. Okay, I know Motown. Yeah, I like this. Okay, a lot of homey home. Just say it, not Motown home.
like you upstaging me at the end. Could I just have a word with you? Is this your down-to-earth image, and then you go to the Four Seasons? <laughs> Look at their lovely bathroom here. Look at you. Get as much soap as you want. Yeah. That's nice. And get as much soap as you want. And a towel and if you need a towel. And you know what? There, oh, there is toilet paper, but usually we use these. Oh, yeah, that's always good. That's yeah. like using fan paper, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. Good. That'll keep you on your toes. Good on the butt. <laughs> That's Can I take some of that? And just, yeah, you can if you put Spice Girl on it, we could market this. You could. This could be the next thing. Go about. out, and I'll use the look any time. Okay. <laughs> She's like Joan Crawford. No, She's not like really. Joan Crawford. Actually, I do find that with the baby image, it's like, you know, because I, you know, I am baby Spice, but then when I do something that's a bit naughty, well, it's you like, will as <gasps> time goes on. Oh my out. God! Yeah. yeah. So, are you going to drop that? Th you can't. You're a prisoner. No. Of it's not, a it's because, obviously, the main thing was because I'm the youngest out of all five of them. Right. Out of all five of us. Are you the so. nicest? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We're all very nice. Is she, yeah, but are you, where do you rate? Because I thought Sporty was pretty nice. I think you might have been I'll tell you what, it. Sporty is a complete babe. I love her She's bits. the babe. I think that you've got a bit I of an edge. I love her to bits. Yeah. Do you know I've what I mean? I've got a tiny bit of an edge. Yeah. I could see you getting angry and losing it. <laughs> yes. No, I do. Sometimes, that actually, I, and a lot of people don't see me, but I'm quite bossy as well sometimes. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed of. You know, you're a spice girl. You can be a little bossy. <laughs> Trying to give her confidence, but you're not confident enough. I, I'm quite. No. Yeah. I like yeah. that we have this between us. Everything we do has always been funny. Yeah. You know, except for the, you know when we write our music, then we take things seriously. But you know, when we get up there, we want to enjoy it, and and it's like you know, it's good fun. Fun. Is there anything where, like, where somebody really pisses you off in the band? Because um, I know what yours is. So okay. I'm just, I don't want to cause, like, havoc. Here. What is it then? Well, I'll tell you, but first tell me what, what no, somebody else does. Me. Well, all right, I won't tell you report it. You take the stuff in your eye, <laughs> and then you roll it around and you sing to it. <laughs> that was reported. I don't sing to it, but I do take, I might have one here for you, actually. Yeah, and then you play with it, though, for yeah. a while. You don't just deposit it. Would you no, want... I play with it. Yeah. It's fun. So what do they do that would get on your nerves? Um, uh, I tell you what, Jerry... I know Jerry talks in her sleep. You can have a good conversation with Jerry in her sleep. <laughs> and she also goes to the loo with the door open, which we don't mind anymore. What's going to happen when you have to leave each other? Because it'll be devastating. Do you know what I mean? Because you're a I think, I don't, it's like a marriage. It is, yeah. totally. And I don't think we'll ever lose that. I think we, we always say we're going to be like the Golden Girls. Mm -hmm. But if the next girl band come and then you're off, that won't disturb you? I think... No, because I think we're always going to be writing and we're always going to be giving our music as long as the fans want us. And our fans are so loyal. It's like, yeah. they are, they are. I don't know. At the moment they are. At the moment they At are. At the moment they but are. But they'll turn around they and they'll be... bite your toes. Yeah, I don't they'll think... be scampering I mean, off, scuttling off somewhere else. I mean, we're optimistic, but we're realistic at the same time. You know, we know that, yeah. that children go through their fickle stage and they like You got them at three. Listen, you never know. By the time they're seven, they'll forget <laughs> that you were ever around the <laughs> your new band. We've achieved so much. You can only really like, yeah. pat ourselves on the back and go, God, do you know what I mean? I we, know. we have nothing. Wow, it's going to be a long 15 minutes. <laughs> Feel my tongue face, Ruby. Uh. I want to know what that's about. Let me feel that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know the thrill of the tongue face. Oh, bye bye. Snug, yeah. Bye bye, girl. Let me have a kiss of comments.